having a rapid treatment is important because the rest of medicine works like that. My heart stopped uh, and you had a slow treatment that worked over six months, uh, I'd be dead, right? Uh, you need something that's gonna work in, in a matter of minutes to get me back to life. I'm Noah Lambs. I'm a psychiatrist and neurologist and developed new therapeutics involving neuromodulation and psychedelics. We're interested in finding treatments for people that don't have a treatment for their problem or the treatments that are available are limited. And we try to develop things that are rapid, meaning we can get people out of these illnesses really quickly. The conventional treatments that are around right now are oral antidepressants, which work really slowly, and they have a low probability of working. So you have a, say, 20% chance of it working. You know, you have to try at least five drugs or more, and each trial takes months to, to happen, and you have to wash the person out. Or electroshock therapy, electroconvulsive therapy, where people have to have a seizure in order to get better, and that causes a lot of cognitive side effects in some individuals. And so, you know, we wanted something that worked really fast, that had low side effect burden. People could be awake, could, it was highly tolerable, and we could get them out of these illness states in a couple of days. So SAINT um, is an acronym for Stanford Accelerated Intelligent Neuromodulation Therapy. And the idea of SAINT is we can pinpoint your mood regulatory circuitry at the level of a connectivity target and we can zoom in and stimulate there. We're using the brain's own natural hippocampal rhythms, the memory rhythms in the brain, or just simply redirecting that information such that the brain learns to turn the mood circuitry on so it can regulate negative mood states. Yeah, I mean, one patient went into a really bad depressive episode, ended up, um, you know, being quite suicidal at the point where the family had to take, you know, all the cleaning supplies and knives and all that kind of risky things out of the house and watch her 24 seven, you know, and within a day we were able to get her from that to totally normal and going to a baseball game the next day. I, I remember it was a Monday where she got well and on Tuesday, um, the husband was in the, came to the same, and by happenstance just came to the same coffee shop as us. And I remember him seeing me and just kind of staring at me and shit, cause he is still in shock. And he had basically whiplash, right? That he couldn't understand that he was in the situation where he was like saving his wife's wife's life the day before, and now she's totally fine and they're about to go to a baseball game. Saint's the only technology that does that.